don't get stuck on a 50 millimeter lens. As I mentioned in the previous video, I have found that the four L's, lens, light, location, and a little bit of luck, are what deliver great photos. I feel that the visual medium of photography has a powerful way of telling a story through images. The camera lens is one of the most important tools to better translate your narrative and to take it even further. Here is my take on all things lens. We know that camera lenses can be fixed or zoomed, and when most people think of lenses, the default terms that are used are telephoto and zoom. I prefer to put lenses in three different categories, long, medium, and wide. A long lens is ideal for short depth of fields, product shots, and portraits where it will give an undistorted perspective, plus the action shot for sports or wildlife. A medium lens, such as a 50 to 55 millimeter, is standard. This lens is ideal when you are shooting architecture, landscapes, products, and people that can't be distorted by a wide-angle lens. The look is most common to your cell phone, so don't get stuck on this lens and only produce generic-looking images. Mix it up. A wide lens is able to capture a wider area that a standard lens won't be able to fit in its field of view. It can be used to shoot landscapes and cityscapes, as well as portraits, product shots, and lifestyle shoots. These lenses give you a more abstract feel, and it can distort and lengthen the subjects. The beauty of a wide-angle lens is that whatever is in the background can be in focus with whatever is in the foreground. Most wide-angle lenses inherently have a good depth of field. If you can get your hands on these different types of lenses, I suggest you experiment 